This is tutorial 3-8. Uh, the title of it is Using ArcGIS Online and it is uh, on page 126 of the GIS Tutorial 1 textbook for ArcGIS 10.3.x. And the first thing is to go to ArcGIS.com, which we have done. If you do, it'll take you to the Features folder and then to the home page inside of the Features folder. And uh, the first thing we want to do here is uh, we want to sign in. And uh, it says you can create a public account here. We're going to click on that and we will enter our information and uh, you need to make up a username and a password, first name, last name, email, uh, security question and an answer and um, accept this and then create an account. Now I already have an account so I'll let you do that on your own and in the meantime I will go back and pause this for a, a little bit and then I will log in and return. Okay, when you sign in, you should see something that looks like this. Um, looks like your name should be up here. And then we've got uh, some choices here on the menu. And we want to click ArcGIS on the main menu. So that's right here on the far left. And uh, now we're skipping over to the bottom of page 127. Uh, number one at the bottom says... Uh, in ArcGIS.com, click Map on the main bar. So we're going to click on Map. And now we're going to page 128. And we want to add some files um, from, the, um, from our Data Files folder. And we should get this screen and um, we're now on uh, number two on page 128 and we want to click the add button here and we want to click add layers from file and uh, then we want to choose um, let me see um, so we want to browse so we're going to click on choose a file and then we're going to browse and what we want to search for is uh, on our c drive uh, and this will be in a different place for you probably. And it is in the data. And uh, we are looking for data files. And in there we are looking for Pittsburgh Schools CSV files. So these look like they're in alphabetical order right now. And so there is Pittsburgh Schools CSV file and we will open that. And then we'll click on Import Layer. And this um, looks like it should have the same dots on it that we have on page 128, uh, except our dots have not yet been resized. So uh, let's go on to item number three. And it says for item one in the Change Style Panel, select Level. So um, here's our Change Style Panel on the left. And for number one, we want to choose level. Okay. And so it says that has code values for the type of school. And um, so now it has already identified the four values that are there. And it has uh, color coded them. So you can tell the primary high school, middle schools, and other schools that are visible over here. And now it should uh, match exactly, I think, what we have on page 129. Okay, and then it says click Done, and click the Save button up here. And um, so let's do Save. Click Save As. And the title for the map is going to be uh, Pittsburgh Schools. By, and then put your name. And then we're going to put some tags in here so it's searchable. Pittsburgh. Uh, enter. And schools. Enter. And neighborhoods enter. And our summary is going to be uh, Pittsburgh Public Schools 2009 and Neighborhoods. 
and uh, folder we're going to save in uh, and I'm just going to go with uh, I think that's probably the only folder that I have and that's you probably have one with your username there too and then click on save map and now at the bottom of page 129 we need to do the year turn and uh, it says add neighborhoods.zip to your map so we need to go and choose add and we're going to add it from a file and we're going to go look for the file and uh, it should take you back to the same folder we were in before and we want uh, neighborhoods.zip so let's find the ends there and there's neighborhoods.zip we want to open it and um, let me see click on import layer okay and so it looks like it laid the neighborhoods on top of the data that we had there before and so it says um, what we want to do is um, select location from let me see an attribute to show and we want um, location and then click done so it's uh, partially transparent it's still covering up our schools so what we have here is we need to move the schools up to the top so we should be able to uh, I think we can go here on the dots and we can drag that up to the top and now our schools are on top of the neighborhoods and uh, lastly change the base map to a light gray canvas and save your map so here's our base map and we want a light gray canvas here and so it kind of makes the background just kind of fade away so we can focus on uh, the part that we want to focus on okay now we're going to go on to page 130 and page 130 says to symbolize uh, map layers and so number one uh, in the contents panel here's the contents panel on the left click the more options button okay so the more options button did not show up for me until I clicked on Pittsburgh schools here and then this stuff appeared down below and now we've got the more options button visible so you may have to click on Pittsburgh schools to get that to show which they don't tell you uh, so these are our more options and then what we want to do is we want to do a rename so go down here and choose rename and uh, we want to change the uh, layer name to Pittsburgh Public Schools and it looks like they're putting some spaces in there as well and click on OK and then for neighborhoods let's click on neighborhoods and we get our dot 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 and we want to rename it and we're going to call that uh, Pittsburgh neighborhood so we need to put Pittsburgh on the front here and click on OK and now we're at the top of page 131 and we want to re-symbolize polygon so we want to click uh, the Pittsburgh neighborhoods options arrow and click the change style button so um, click our options um, we see Pittsburgh neighborhoods and um, and we want the change style so that's this little circle triangle and square and so let's click on that and um, after we do that we want to choose options and then symbols So here's options, and so then we want symbols, and for the fill, click the no color button, which is the little line with a or square with a line through it, and for our outline color up here, um, outline color, uh, select. Uh, dark gray so let's you know there's a pretty dark gray right there 
and click OK. And where's the OK button? Right down here. You got to scroll for it. And then it says click on done. I don't see a done here, but I see another OK. And then a done. And, um, and it says save your map. So we'll just click on save here. And now um, we're at about the 10 minute mark, so I'm going to stop this video and we'll continue on the middle of page 131 with the second video for uh, tutorial 3-8.